I'm Dr. Andres Tremanis, and I'm here today to talk to you about my flipped workshop style organic chemistry course. Why do pre-health students take organic chemistry? Well, the reason is it's a perfect example of a creative application of simple ideas to explain complex ones. Organic chemistry is a great playing field for developing the skills and ways of thinking that will make you successful as a healthcare provider, as a scientist, as an engineer. It will also help you succeed in your other courses. And of course, we're going to prepare you really well for the organic chemistry questions on the MCAT, the PCAT, the DAT, etc. So there are three different offerings of organic chemistry at UT. There are Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 50 minute lectures. There are Tuesday, Thursday, 75 minute lectures. And there are my Friday, 150 minute workshops. The organic division gets together and makes sure that we have similar exams and similar class sizes, and we have the same class averages, and we cover the same material so that no section is easier or harder than another. And this gives you the freedom to choose the one that fits your learning style and your schedule. What is a workshop organic chemistry course? First of all, there's only one required meeting per week. The two options are Friday at 10 a.m. or Friday at 12.30. There'll also be recorded lectures, so not recordings of what we do in class, but recorded lectures covering the material that you're going to discover in your groups during class. You'll be working in groups of three or four, and I'll assign the group membership at first, and then after you get to know some people, you'll get to choose who you want to work with. The group work during class is completely for your benefit. In other words, there's no group grading, so you don't have to rely on pulling your group mates along with you. And if you need help during class or you have questions, and every student does at some point, there's personalized one-on-one -on -one help with me or one of my excellent LAs or TAs. And if you want more structure than one meeting per week, we have optional work sessions throughout the week. So a little bit about me. I'm a member of the professional track faculty at UT. What that means is that I don't have a research group and I don't have graduate students. My job is to teach undergraduates organic chemistry. I have a PhD in organic chemistry from Stanford and I have 25 years, more than 25 years of experience working with students and teaching organic chemistry. I'm the co-founder of a group called Pogel and you can look us up on the web, but our mission is to try and help teachers engage students. When I'm not teaching chemistry at UT, I am surfing or playing video games or playing pickleball with my three sons. You might also see me playing table tennis or swimming at Greg. Feel free to challenge me to a ping pong game. And when I'm not doing any of that, I'm traveling around the country giving workshops on how to engage students in cooperative discovery classrooms. If you're working hard, and especially if you're having fun, 150 minutes flies by. Each class in my workshops is designed like an escape room challenge. Now, if you don't know what an escape room challenge is, it's when you pay to have somebody fake lock you into a room with a bunch of puzzles and you work with your friends to figure out the puzzles and eventually find the key and get out hopefully before the time expires. And the reason why that's so fun is because humans are programmed to get brain rewards for solving puzzles. The activities that you're going to do in my class are like puzzles. And so you'll be learning organic chemistry, but at the same time, you'll be getting those brain rewards. So unfortunately, the main reason people take organic chemistry, and this really does hurt my heart, is they have to. Also, I think it's unfortunate that the main motivation a lot of students come into organic chemistry with is they're motivated to get an A. And this can be a kind of toxic motivation because there's a lot of stress involved. And I strongly suggest to my students that they try to put grades and medical school admissions or dental school admissions out of their mind as much as possible because it can really distract from their enjoyment of the material. And because the class is designed in a sort of escape room challenge way, 
there are lots of opportunities for daily motivation from that, aha, I figured it out. And then you get to explain it to your teammates and it's quite enjoyable. So what if you don't know anyone in the class? That's fine. I'll assign the groups and strangers will quickly become valued teammates. Not only that, students who meet in my class often stay together and register for other classes in their junior and senior year so that they can keep the team together. One of the main benefits and why I teach this way is because a student-centered, student-specific approach allows each student to address their specific needs. Everyone has a unique set of gaps and misconceptions that they need to overcome to figure out organic chemistry. And it comes from the way our minds work. In order to move anything into long-term memory, we need to do some work. Struggle is an inherent part of learning. You can't just tip the information into your ear and have it go in. I can't just tell you what to know. It doesn't work that way. Instead, there's something called working memory. And working memory has a really complex relationship with long-term memory. And in order to get something into long-term memory, you have to first get it into working memory. Well, how do you get something into working memory? The challenge is to get it through something called the perception filter. And a perception filter makes sense. It blocks most of what you experience. If you tried to process every single thing that was happening around you, you'd be completely overwhelmed. The perception filter is unique to every student. It's a function of what you already know. And you know this. What you can learn is based on your previous knowledge, as well as your preferences, your misconceptions, and also your biases, your likes, and your dislikes, and your fears. Having a student-centered learning environment allows each student to address their specific needs. So here's a timeline of a typical workshop class. I'll let you pause the video and read this if you want. Students who I tell I have 150-minute classes, the first thing they say is, what about bathroom breaks? So take bathroom breaks or stretch breaks whenever you want. There are a lot of reasons why we have weekly quizzes. Steady effort is the key to success in organic chemistry. Students are really busy, and the only way to grab their attention each and every week is to make sure that there is some assessment. It does mean that there'll be fewer midterm exams, which is nice, and that studying for those midterm exams is way easier because the quizzes are going to force you to keep up. There's another thing going on too, which is that the quizzes help you be prepared for each class. And this helps you learn because each activity builds on the previous one. It's also the case that group work gets bogged down if one person in the group is always behind. So having a quiz really is the best way to make sure everybody in the group are really well prepared. Well, what if you have to miss class? No problem. We'll have makeup quizzes and drop quizzes for those students who have to miss class. And then we have the recorded lectures. And of course, you can get together with your group or come to the work sessions to catch up. So here are some comments from past students who have experienced this type of learning. I'll let you pause the video and read these. I hope to see you in my class.